This is Powerware 9120 UPS. They have changed it and renamed it to Eaton 9120. So Eaton 9120 or Powerware 9120 are same things. Uh, yesterday I was uh, replacing the batteries of uh, this 9120, but. Uh, since I did not notice how the wiring was done, I just removed the batteries from the tray and when I bought the new batteries, but uh, since when I started installing it, things could not work as per the available these jacks of power. So let's do it for you because I have researched over the internet and could not find any way of doing it correctly or wiring it correctly. So um, it's a bit tricky. So let's do it for you. <coughs> this is first battery. Over here you can see the metal part and the connector that connects to the UPS. And previously I was placing all batteries like this. Like this and I was trying to interconnect them with these wires, three, but could not do it uh, since they were falling a short, short of length, then I realized that something must be wrong with the wiring. So what I did is finally I finally found out how to do it. It's easy actually, but uh, initially you feel like it's difficult. Uh, since it's not on the internet, let me do it. This is the first battery. Um, minus plus. All four batteries go in series. It's 48 volts, 12 volts each. Right? So this first battery is going I'm not attaching this plus to the positive terminal. This jumper, the larger one, a bit longer, I would say. Now, this battery won't go this way. This battery will go this way. Since it is negative, negative will go to the Yeah. I'll keep it this way. I'll press the second battery. This will go as well. So I'll start with interconnecting these two as well. Similarly, the fourth battery. And the last positive terminal, the negative terminal, I'm sorry, goes to the negative terminal. And finally, I will touch this positive with this battery. And I'll move all batteries together.
there you are thank you for watching do forget to subscribe my channel and uh, don't come back